So FMD uh, in children is, is not a common disorder. Um, and my interest is in hypertension and has been a long-standing interest. Uh, FMD in children seems to mainly present with hypertension, uh, usually severe hypertension. And uh, we found that over the years it's sometimes unmasked by the children undergoing procedures. So it's been brought to our attention when children have gone for surgery and they suddenly have a surge in blood pressure afterwards. Well, they've gone to their pediatrician, had really very high blood pressure and then had difficulty with controlling that blood pressure after that. And so uh, as uh, pediatricians, we know that if we're needing two or three blood pressure meds to control the blood pressure, we may well be dealing with a underlying secondary cause for hypertension especially a uh, renal artery stenosis, uh, or if the blood pressure is very high in presentation. Um, sometimes we even see these children present with a uh, secondary effect of the uh, blood pressure. And not usually stroke, but we have seen Bell's palsy. The children often have headaches. And, uh, in the registry that we've had the children into, more than 60% uh, of them, in fact, have a headache as a part of their presentation, which is actually similar to the uh, adult uh, presentation as well. Most of the FND that we look at, the children we manage, uh, uh, we use uh, angioplasty. So we do an angiogram and we do angioplasty of the renal arteries. Uh, in some instances where the disease is quite severe, they've had uh, surgery performed and they can have uh, either bypass surgery or they can have reconstructive surgery or they can in fact have the kidney taken from where it normally is and moved down. We call that an autotransplant. So we've done that before. And then the rare instance where there really isn't much renal function left, um, one can choose to remove the kidney. Outside of that, uh, we use medications and uh, conservative management, antihypertensives.